Hey everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Deborah. Welcome to another edition of OK or Not OK slash Dep Talks. <laughs> this is a bittersweet kind of news. Like, you're happy about it, yet you're sad about it because you know that this probably means goodbye. And I'm saying probably because I'm. <sighs> I probably shouldn't be holding on to the hope that you're still probably gonna stay together if this solo single, not solo, but this single becomes a hit and does really well and the public accepts it and loves it and all. But I'm still holding on to hope. <laughs> I think, let's just be sincere. I think behind my head, somewhere, like, okay, Deborah, you better stop holding on to hope before YG crashes and destroys everything. But to anyone, weird because I don't know means is not gonna be in it but 21 is having a comeback on the 21st with a song titled goodbye and first of all okay let's go to the specifics before we go to how I feel about this whole thing because you also me crying my hat out when 21 the news came out that they were disbanded but it's gonna be titled goodbye and apparently it's their last song to say goodbye and thank you to the fans before they like leave which is kind of weird because they disbanded last year and then they're releasing a song now why didn't they release the song before last year so now coming to my conspiracy theories is this YG trying to test the waters and see because we all know that the post he put up of 21 disbanding was taking off the YG page so I mean 21 as a group is like on your YouTube page is no more of the four girls and it's just the number or the letters 2 and e one letters and numbers 21 and all but it still has me wondering is he trying to say okay this might be your goodbye really or it might not be your goodbye so if we put this out and it does really well really really well exceeds our expectations then maybe, maybe, maybe I can have Messi and Black Jacks and you guys and say, okay, you guys should stay together and let's see what happens and let's keep going and you guys didn't really disband. After all, I took the post down. I may have been playing a pretty horrible, bad, heartless prank on you guys. Now, this is just the hopeful side of me thinking. So maybe that's the case or maybe it's actually really just a goodbye and a thank you, which is really, really sad. But regardless of what it is, while like I said on Twitter, I'm really, really, I feel somehow because 21 or 4, 21 and a 3. So while I do feel somehow about Minzy not being in it, I do understand that there might have been factors that, uh, well, I don't know. I understand and I kind of don't understand, but I do understand that there may have been factors that came into why she's not been in it which consists of maybe the new contract she signed said she couldn't do it or the new company said she couldn't do it or she went away you know how YG's mess happened and how he tried to blame Minzy for it or I don't sincerely I don't blame the girl for not coming back I totally understand why she is not coming back but it's still kind of sad because 21 without Minzy Yes, it's 21, but it still doesn't really feel like 21 because every single girl in 21 brings something to the table and then they complete the whole picture and then make it 21. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this song sounds like. I am all kinds of emotions. I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm interested, I'm curious, I'm everything for this single because we don't... Which, brings me back to I feel like YG is also testing the waters because we don't really know how this is gonna work or come out with just the three girls yes it's still gonna be amazing but is it gonna be better is it gonna be the same is it how how is it gonna play out that is something that I'd really like to see I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a really sad song that's gonna have us balling but like I said I wish they could just bring out a song like I am the best also like something really really hardcore and dope or a full album if that's not too much to ask i feel like now i'm just running <laughs> past what i should be running and wishing for what i sh probably shouldn't be wishing for at this stage but i'm really excited for january 21st just to see how everything plays out definitely stop having hope but i can't help but have hope this is a girl's that I love you. I have no idea how much I love 21. Go watch my video of on your disbandment and you understand. So I just 
the black jacket me wants to have hope but then the yg fan who knows how papa yg operates is like girls will have hope he gonna crash it he gonna throw it into the gutter and he gonna step on your hope but i'm trying i'm trying it's really hard let me know though what do you all think about it in the comments down below how do you feel do you have hope do you have conspiracy theories like me are you okay are you not okay about this combat and why are you not okay about it and are you okay because i understand if you're not okay because look here you told us they were disbanded and we were kind of getting off it but even though we were trying to pass through not having to anyone i don't know about you but for me i wasn't really able i think i went into a k-pop depression period after the whole 21 news because it was just today when the news came out that i was actually really thinking about it for the past few weeks or days apart from big bang big bang's comeback i haven't really been interested in k-pop like many groups aoa and all have been bringing out releases and i've just been skipping through them i didn't really i wasn't motivated to check them out because i felt so betrayed by the two anyone mess and i didn't want to put my heart in these groups and then just be thrown in the gutter like yg did with the whole two anyone situation so i i was in the k-pop depression period but then this news i feel just awoke my love and everything like big bang definitely made me feel big, big bang always saves okay <laughs> so that's just a different story and so big bang is just different in fact i wouldn't even classify them as k-pop right now big bang is just a different let's call them a genre on their own okay <laughs> so um um with the whole 21 comeback and all and the news of the whole 21 stuff I, I, it has me feeling better like excited to watch k-pop songs that i didn't even check out throughout this week and just catch up on stuff it makes it just brighten my day so i really am grateful for this because this is a good buy that i needed yes it won't be four of them but at least i'm getting a good buy so i won't complain i'm thankful because this is gonna give me the closure that i i really 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 needed so i'm really really grateful i i i am grateful that we're getting something something's better than nothing i am really thankful i don't know about you i know some people might be mad with the whole music situation but like i said i kind of understand and i kind of don't but i'm thankful that i'm getting something at least and for that i'm really grateful and i hope that's something leads to something more but if it doesn't i feel i might be okay until january 21st we'll know if i'm still gonna be okay if i don't get more to anyone but at least i'll get closure to an extent i would just be left burning and broken like he left us a few weeks back or a couple of weeks back with the whole 21 news and all of their break up so i'm really 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 excited about this i can't wait to see that Of 2017 the best way to start 2017 i'm like this this just made my 2017 i don't care how bad it goes the rest of the year but this will make me feel better each time i think of the bad in 2017 that will not happen in jesus name amen <laughs> i'm like wait i can't confess that i'm gonna get bad this year i'm not gonna get bad but um yeah i definitely definitely i'm happy and excited and i'm kind of scared because we don't really, it can play out any way. But I'm really hoping that every fandom, if you're watching this and you're not even a blackjack, you don't listen to 21, please help us make this a worthy like goodbye. 21 is a girl group that has done so much for the K-pop world, especially the girl group world, that they deserve a banging goodbye. Like they deserve a contact and the whole 360 degrees for their going away but it's okay we're getting a solo let's try and make that heat in terms of the views and all oh, because i'm looking at the comeback home views and they're still on 50 something million and i'm like hopefully goodbye eight like that and we really really break records with this so please guys even if you're not black jacks you don't listen to twitter you don't even like white i'm begging you to please drop the hate drop everything and give this mv a listen even if you don't like it at least watch it give us the views and then walk away <laughs> okay that was really nice but please give us the views we need them we need to send a message to yg that he made the biggest mistake of his life with the whole way he messed up with 21 and he just ruined everything but i feel like this is him trying to make up for his mistake which 
in a way I shouldn't probably accept, but I'll accept. I'm desperate here. I'll take anything. I'm like, I'm really desperate here. I'll take anything as long as it's from two anyone, okay? And as long as the girls are singing and in an envy. Oh gosh, you're gonna see them in an envy. I'm like, all right, <laughs> this is going crazy now. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Are you okay? You're not okay? What do you feel about this whole situation? Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and keep being awesome, beautiful people you are. From me to you all, you know, I've got nothing but love for you all.